So up about 5.30 in the morning. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, it's crazy. And this is an old fish cabin from the 20s. Hey, Tally, what was your favorite part of the trip this weekend? Hey, hey friends, this video is brought to you by the Dirt Pro. The Dirt Pro slaps Google in the face when it comes to finding new campgrounds, RV trip planning, realistic campground reviews, even information on cell phone service in the area you'll be visiting. We are partnering with the Dirt Pro to gift you guys a 30-day risk-free trial. If you don't like it, simply cancel and you pay nothing. If you do like the Dirt Pro, it's a measly $34.99 per year. So click on the link below, use code WW. Now let's get back to today's video. Hey, welcome back friends. Hey, we're headed up to Black Rock Mountain State Park office to sign some bear waivers. Yes, when you go backpacking in Black Rock Mountain State Park, or I guess any of our state parks that it's in bear territory, I guess they make you sign a bear waiver and they give you uh, pointers and things to adhere to, rules to adhere to when it comes to bear country and backpacking. Uh, we've got some some odor proof bags to take care of that but anyway the whole point of this video is to take you guys along on daddy daughter weekend right baby yep yep excited. she's excited uh, we're backpacking tonight at black rock mountain state park i'll show you that set up here in just a minute and then uh the next two nights we'll be stay staying at some old restored fish cabins up on lake burton that's uh next to a very nice cajun restaurant so we'll look forward to that. We've been there before, but we haven't gone in detail with it much. So hope you guys will join us and yeah. So yeah, the bear waivers was just making sure everyone knew, uh, hey, there's bears in the area. Make sure to lock your food up. Make sure to put your food in a bear box, which is provided at the campsite. But yeah, here we are at the visitor center at Black Rock. About to hop on the trail here in just a second, but I wanted to show you this view first. Okay, friends, we are ready to go. You can get a good look at Black Rock Lake behind us. And it's a very short hike to the one we're going to. We're going to be at the uh, Creek Ridge backcountry site. It's uh, walk-in only, obviously. It's about a 20-minute, it's only about a 20-minute hike. But, uh, but yeah, that's enough for a quick night. We got up here about 5 o'clock, and um, it'll, we'll have plenty of time to hop in, get set up and then cook some dinner and have some just chill time and we should enjoy it. Right, Tam? Look at this rock. <laughs> yeah. That's huge. You ready? Yep. Alright, let's go. You want me to lead? You want me to lead or you want to lead? Oh, you can. I can? Okay, sounds good. Alright guys, we'll get you, let's get into camp. I'll show you some, uh, anything cool on the hike up. I'll make sure you see it. It's crazy. Cheese. Cool. Okay, I've been a good slide in the rock. There we go. 
Well, I don't know. Not much of a pull there. Let's come down here and show everyone. This cool? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling you, if we brought our bathing suits, we could just sit in here and yeah. chill. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Can I wash my face off real quick? What? Can I just get the water and come in Let's go find camp. I think we're close. Then we'll come back and take us a little bath. Cool? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So we got some good markers here. Creek Ridge campsite. A football field. That way. You ready, baby? Let's go. There's another one right here. But we don't need to pay attention. Right. That tells us how to get back to the car. Yeah. All right, friends camp is pretty much set up got our kitchen over here got our living room right here for the fireplace and our bedroom good to go right oh and there's the bathroom up there yeah. <laughs> so so in the world that's right girls on one side boys on the other so in the world of backpacking sites this would be considered really considered full hookups we have a bear box normally you have to put string up stuff on your trees uh, you've got benches which you just never have uh, but this is a state park backcountry campsite, so there's definitely some improvements. Nice flat area for the tent. Nice big open area, actually. And then if you ever needed water, that waterfall you saw is a, really less than a football field straight that way. So this is a great site for a first-time backpacking. You have anything that you would need right here within a football field of you. And uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy some a little bit of tunes. We're going to hang out by the waterfall a little bit. Then we're going to cook dinner and uh, probably tell some ghost stories. All right, dinner tonight. Tally is going with beef stroganoff with noodles. And I'm going with my old favorite, chili mac with beef. If you watched uh, the father-son weekend, I had some buffalo mac and cheese. That was really good, too. I forgot to show you the bedroom. So here we go. And Tally's is over here. And she's got her goodies back there, her brush, her perfume, which is probably not a good idea with the bears, <laughs> and the deodorant. And then, uh, yeah, here's mine. This sleeping bag's probably 20 years old. That sleeping pad is 20 years old. But yeah, still working just as it should. This little thing folds up to the size of a peewee football. So it's it's awesome. But how do you think, Town? I like it a lot. Yeah? I'm so excited for tonight. And so... All right, cool. Hopefully you will survive. Love you. Mm -hmm. So, You're going to show me a little, a little trick. It's like Listerine strips. So these are like Listerine strips, but like they're soap. They're actually really cool. Yeah. And what you do is you take them. Biodegradable, of course. wash my face a lot, so I'm going to wash my face. So. Alright, let's see a sudsy face. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Feel good? Oh yeah. think about the stroganoff tail so it's different than i thought i thought it'd be more like ramen kind of looking noodles but it's like different like look at it yeah it's like real beef stroganoff right yeah and i thought it would be more like, i thought the beef would be like i don't know just different than what i'm expecting it's way better than i thought it would be oh.
All right, guys, about to hop in the tent. Had a good dinner. Uh, again, stroganoff for Tamley and um, chili mac for myself. But I want to show you what we're doing for uh, for bears. So we've got a few around here. You can barely hear me because the mic's facing forward. So we've got a odor-proof bag. I don't know how well these work, but it's better to have them than not have them for our trash trash. And then we've got a bigger one for our food. Um, so that, that's going to work out well. Tally's also got her little uh, her deodorant and stuff in there as well. Shower tonight was one of these bad boys. Take that, throw it in that, and we uh, were nice, fresh, and clean. Charging the iWatch and the iPhone tonight on the Rav Power Power Bank. You guys have seen those. Um, no affiliation with those. Just which one I happen to have. And over here, just getting things wrapped up. Hey, Tim. Hey. Yeah. Getting in the tent, getting ready. Getting in the tent, getting ready. All right. Sounds good. Inflated our pillows and all. Yep. When we first got here. This one feels a little weird because it has air in it. Yep. A little bit weird. And I'm going to straighten all of this up, get it all battened down, get the food in the bear box, and get our packs in our little vestibules here. And we should be good to go. All right, guys. You can't really see me. It's uh, turn the light on. So up about 5.30 in the morning. Oh, it didn't work. About 5.30 in the morning. I think I got a little bear activity at the campsite, so we packed up. Tally was a little worried, which I don't blame her, but uh, packed up, headed back in. Luckily, it's only about a 15 minute hike. So uh, we'll update you, going to breakfast. We'll show you what you're eating for breakfast. Close. Here's that wobbly one, right? Oh yeah, there's the white trail, so take a left, right? If you're ever in Clayton, guys, another good breakfast spot is the Rusty Bike Cafe. Let's go in, see what they've got. friends ended up coming to Tallulah Gorge State Park this is one of Townley's very favorites and for good reason it's got some good hiking here we're gonna get a little morning workout doing the stairs uh, if you get here a little before the interpretive center opens just head down the North Rim Trail and take a left but this uh, this gorge is about a thousand feet deep in areas and yeah it's kind of Georgia's equivalent to a mini, mini, mini Grand Canyon, but much greener. So this water is dammed up over here where this bridge is at, but uh, several times a year, they will do a release, what kind of they call a water release. And yeah, it's very impressive. Back in the day, this used to be a huge tourist attraction. And this little town of Tallulah Falls was actually a, a big tourist town. And they say that you could hear these falls out here for miles around they were so loud but now Georgia Power has dammed it up and they produce power of course but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll take you around a little bit Second ago. So remember that right there. We'll be over there in just a few minutes. One more look down the gorge. Yep. 
Here you go. Ooh, look at that. Not our first rodeo, is it? We've done this, gosh, probably. Yep. We've probably done this, gosh, I've probably done this. 25 or 30 times. Tally's did this, this is what, six or eight times? Something like that. Turn around. I'll just look over. All right, guys, so if you want to go to the gorge floor, you got to get here and get a permit. Uh, obviously, it's that way. I would not recommend it for kids under eight. Uh, it's a lot of boulder hopping, a lot of scrambling. And uh, yeah, sometimes if you slip and fall, you will be in the river. And then when you get to the sliding rock, well, it's just straight up. You can imagine doing what we just did with no, with no stairs. So yeah, it's, it's pretty rough. Um, we've done it before. Tally's done it too. She did a great job. But that's one for the uh, one for the bucket list. Not in a big hurry to do it again. It's stunningly beautiful down there, though. The only bad thing about coming down is you gotta go back up. We gotta go up. Yep. But if you have a backpack on, the easiest way is to go up instead of down because you have all that weight on your back. Yep. This side's a little higher than the other side, so you get an extra couple of flights of stairs on the north rim. But this will definitely get the blood pumping in the morning. Baby, you got it? No, I'm already burning. Come on now, don't let old man beat you. Almost there. There's the finish line. I don't know about you, but dad didn't rest. Telling hasn't learned about tortoise in the hair yet. Hey, Old man's back here being a tortoise. Slow and steady. Man. That is no joke. But it's done now. Alright, come on. No. It's flat now. You're ready to go down. We're good. Take your time. Woo! So if you remember a few minutes ago, I told you to remember this structure. We were right over there when I told you that. Now we're on the other side of the gorge. Don't look at the sun. And there's the bridge we just crossed. So I uh, neglected to mention there is RV camping here at the state park. There's a nice little campground over here. Very close to all this hiking actually. There's a trail that connects the campground to the gorge which is very convenient if you're coming to hike. I highly suggest it. Campground's a little bit tight, 
but uh, you know it's well kept it's a state park but yeah tight, sights can be tight if you're in a really big fifth wheel or motorhome you know I would say on the back sights closest to 441 and even those are going to be pretty tight but otherwise you should be fine all right so Tally decided to come to her favorite little mountain town which is Helen Georgia and I don't know if you can see it behind me but uh, Helen has dressed itself up as like a little alpine village and everything is reminiscent of old-time Germany and yeah it's just a it's, it's a tourist trap basically but it's cool we've never been here uh, we we went to college about I don't know 45 minutes from here so we've been here plenty but yeah, if you've never been it's worth coming you know spend an hour or two out here it's all the tourist trap shops the old-time photos the glass blowing all that fun stuff so tons of ice cream shops but Tally has a little jewelry shop here that she really loves and uh, we snagged her a pair of earrings so yep come on to Helen if you've never been uh, if you have been you probably saw most of it Helen is also the tubing capital of Georgia this is the uh, close to the headwaters of the Chattahoochee River thousands of tubers every single day all right friends welcome to our digs for the night uh, actually two nights and this is an old fish cabin from the 20s and we're gonna be staying here no air, air conditioning it does have power it does have ceiling fans but yeah Townley will show you guys around we've been here before and show us around it's supposed to be self check-in unlock yeah all right cool very good they've redone these Nice little kitchen. This is Blue Canoe. So uh, we're here in one of the cabins. And right here is a, I mean, just a world-class Cajun restaurant that we will eat at tonight and tomorrow night. It is killer. But I wanted to show you guys this little setup. Before we destroyed it with all of our stuff, we got a nice little living area here. And then if you come right here, here's the first bedroom. There's two bedrooms in the whole entire cabin. There's two right. bedrooms. And there's a hallway with a bathroom. Yeah. Talent's going to give you guys a little tour. Can turn the TV on? TV. <laughs> there's no TV. That's what I love about it. All right. Here's the light. The shower. Yeah. Nice little shower. Nice shower. That we're about to get in because we've got to get our shower from backpacking. And then here's the right. second bedroom. Yeah. It's like a little circle. Been your bedroom kind of right yeah, here. Yeah, this is. I've Last slept time. in this bedroom once already. Yep. And then there's someone stuck up in the mud. Okay, that's fine. Maybe you don't need to tell them all those stories. But yeah, somebody got stuck in the mud, woke her up. But yeah, that's uh, yeah, this is Seed Cabin here at Blue Canoe. I'll link it in the description box below if you guys kind of want to unplug and uh, and not take the RV or if you don't have an RV and looking for somewhere to unplug, this can be a great option for you. A uh, family of four could easily sleep in these cabins nice and quiet up here near lake burton clarksville raven county area all right friends had a great night's sleep in the cabin on a mattress it's always awesome getting back to a mattress after you have uh, slept in a tent but anyway we had a trout fishing guide set up this morning and yeah they just called our text last minute and said hey we can't go circumstances okay it gets a little frustrating these days you know people you don't know if somebody's really having an issue or if they just don't want to work today who knows but uh yeah that's a little bit disappointing we were gonna do some fly fishing some like a little introductory fly fishing class with townley and um and she was looking forward to it you were you, were you ready to, were you looking forward to it yeah yeah but but it's all good we're going to uh we're gonna go head out to anna ruby falls we're kind of scrambling now because we got canceled on last minute but uh we're gonna go head out to Anna Ruby Falls and uh, and check that out. We haven't been there in quite some time. It's a beautiful uh, waterfall. It's a U.S. Forestry Service land though. So if you, you have to go pay to get into Unicoi State Park, which will be fine because we've got a, uh, we've got our little Friends of Georgia State Parks pass. But then, uh, but then you have to also pay to get into Anna Ruby Falls. So we will just uh, we will just take you guys to Anna Ruby Falls and maybe even walk around Unicoi a little bit. I'm trying to talk Townley into zip lining. What do you think, Townley? No, she's not feeling it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, well, we'll show you Anna Ruby Falls anyway.
right, friends, there you go, Anna Ruby Falls. About a quarter mile hike up to the top. And uh, it can, it's pretty steep in some places, but it's not long at all. It's all paved, so good footing. It's not even really a trail. It's more like a, an asphalt paved path, I guess you'd call it. But it's certainly impressive. There's a reason that the Forestry Service owns this part of Georgia. Uh, it's, uh, I would say, probably one of the more impressive features in most of the state. So, so after Anna Ruby Falls, we decided that she wanted to go get, Townley wanted to go get a pedicure. And hey, it's her weekend. Let's do it. Didn't do any video in there. Just took a picture. You can enjoy that half a second there if you want to see someone in a, not usually in a pedicure chair that's in a pedicure chair. Hey, I like pedicures. You let someone massage on your feet for half an hour and tell me you don't like it. But uh, one thing before we finish this video, I realized I did not show you guys the restaurant. So um, here you can see there's a little cornhole area out here. You got some Jenga blocks over there in a bucket. But uh, yeah, let's go down here and I'm going to show you the restaurant while nobody's in it. Very good food, Cajun Creole type food. They do a wonderful job here. This guy's a sincere restaurateur and uh, yeah, so great outdoor seating right here. Now, if you remember, our cabin is just right there. So we've walked down every evening and uh, we've actually sat outside or even sat at the outside bar. Uh, I won't let Townley sit in the inside bar, but the outside bar is fine. And yeah, it's just a great location. You're deep in the woods. There's nothing next door really, but they've got outdoor seating and then they've got indoor seating in here. I will leave a description, uh, our link in the description box below for Blue Canoe. Every Wednesday, they char grill oysters right over here. That's Wednesday's a big night for them. They char grill oysters over here. Some of the only oysters that Townley will, will eat, actually the only oysters she'll eat. They're really, really good. But one last time before I take you, finish this video, little fire pit here at Blue Canoe, badminton. This used to be a pool and they filled it in and made it into cornhole boards. This used to, uh, this property used to actually be over here. There's several sites. There's 20, 30, 40 RV sites over here. Most of them look like they were semi-permanent. They had full hookups. People had built decks onto them and I'm talking through the woods a little bit, but this property, um, I think that's a goal for them eventually it's on the long list is to redo some campsites I don't know if they do like a boondockers welcome or a harvest host or something like that and then uh, and then open those up or they may go and do all the full hookups and restore it completely I don't know but it's first thing on the list is restore this cabin right here um, if you can see that it's the oldest structure this close to Lake Burton. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed uh, Daddy Daughter Weekend. I know I've had a blast. It's good for me to get some time with Townley and hopefully this will inspire you to get out with your kid and spend some one-on-one -on -one time with them. If you have multiple children, I think sometimes it's important to, uh, to spend time just with one of them. So that's what the goal was today. We did uh, that kind of weekend with Beckett a few weeks ago. You can check that video out a few videos back in the channel. I hope this was useful guys and as always consider subscribing. See ya.